Good morning on this bright and sunny morning in Southern Illinois. This is my very favorite video of the year to film, and it is a collaboration with my beautiful friend, Natalie the Beauty Diva. And normally, we film with our beautiful friend, the O'Carroll O'Carroll from the O'Carroll Show, and she wasn't able to join us this year, so it just won't be the same. But I've been doing this, I think this is my ninth time I did my favorites. And I think it's the eighth time that it's been in a collaboration. And I, of course, you probably, I know you all know both of these women, but I will link their videos below. And if I'm good, I'll put a picture of them in here. I am just, you, you know that I am not a wonderful YouTuber. I still film with my old phone. It's an iPhone 8. And uh, I did use a ring light last week, and I think it turned out okay. But I like natural sunlight. I like my door being open because I get sunlight from there because Jim has gone to the dentist. So uh, that's, that's really a good thing. I have my own rules. Nobody has to have rules, but I have my own rules. And my rules for my favorites, and I'm going to do 10 favorites from 2022, is I can't have them on any previous favorites and I have to purchase it myself, which is fine. That's what I like to do anyway. So everything I talk about, I have purchased. It's broken down into home, uh, beauty, makeup, and a hobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is my air fryer. I have a different type of air fryer that I did not like using as an air fryer. So I bought this one and I'll put a picture of it up here and I'll show you how big it is because I just, I just brought the basket with me. Here's the basket. It would be worth it to have this only to warm up uh, leftovers. I have done so many things in this basket. Jim had ordered shrimp and it was a takeout and it was really nice, big shrimp, and he had quite a few left. And, I, and of course, we put it in the refrigerator. And the next day I said, why don't you uh, let me warm those up for you? He said, well, they won't be very good. I said, oh, yes, they will. So I put it in the air fryer and I didn't, didn't even preheat it. I think I put it on for four minutes. And there's something that my slacker in me loves to use when I use this. And it's not necessary, but man, it makes it easy. When I bought it, I bought a box of parchment liners and this is, uh, I think, seven point something size. And then I bought a box that has the, and I'm gonna show them to you. It's a 6.3 basket and then um, a little flat thing. Well, I'm gonna show you what they look like. Here is the large one. It fits down in my basket and I'll show it to you. Just like that. And I fried a whole chicken in here and it didn't, the juice did not penetrate. So they're very durable and just makes clean up a breeze. And this is a smaller size that is less expensive and it fits in here. I use this side more than anything because it does cover the whole bottom. It doesn't have grippers, but I'll tell you something I did. I took an old jacket that was kind of quilted and I cut the sleeves off and I have those in my kitchen because the only bad thing about this, when you reach down to get something, you can burn your arms here and here. So now I've got that taken care of. You know, I kind I looked for something online and they didn't make it, so I just made my own. But I just have them in where I keep my pot holders and when I want to get in here to get something, I put them on. And along with that comes this size. And this works so well. I don't use these as much, but they have come in handy. But what my favorite thing is, I love pizza, and I don't eat pizza very often. I prefer the gluten-free crust, but I'll have a, a piece or two of pizza, and I'll have a lot left over. Jim's not crazy about pizza, and I will just freeze them separately. The pie-shaped wedges, I will freeze them and have them in a bag in the freezer, and anytime I want a piece of pizza, I it's kind of dangerous. No, it's not dangerous, but it could be. I just get it out of the freezer, open this up, put it in here, shut it, seven minutes, don't preheat, just walk away and it tastes better than when you first got it. It's crunchy and it's good. But this really has been my number one pleasure. The one I purchased is from Secura. I'll put the link down so you can read about it. I bought my daughter the Corsari, I think Corsari, and it is a dual blaze. It's more expensive, it's bigger 
but she absolutely loves it. She cooks for a family of guys. Sometimes there's just her and three grown people. So she usually cooks just about everything and she works full time. So um, she loves that one too. My next favorite is my side-by-side -side freezer with an ice maker. When we bought our new refrigerator for the kitchen, probably a couple years ago, I, d I didn't want an ice maker. I'd never had an ice maker. I definitely didn't want an ice maker in the door, but it came with an ice maker. So I just told them not to hook it up and I was fine. You know, never had one, didn't know what I missed. Well, I decided I wanted a refrigerator freezer in my laundry room. I already had a chest freezer. I was tired of taking everything out, putting it back. I mean, I just thought anything that makes my life just a little bit easier, I'm gonna get. Jim thought I was nuts. But I got a side-by-side -side with an ice maker. And I'll put a picture of it, and I'll tell you why I chose this one. The ice didn't come from the door, from outside. And as you can see, there is plenty of space on the freezer door. And I love all the shelves, I love the drawer, and I just like everything about it. So that's been my second. What I've liked next, and I will put a picture of it in here, and it is a tall skirted toilet. And what I love about it, number one, we have three bathrooms, two on the main floor. There was a tall toilet in the back bathroom. It has the shower. And then in the front bedroom that I use, it has just it has standard one and it has the bathtub. But after Jim's surgery, I thought, oh my gosh, I need to get him a tall toilet because he'd be using this one. And I got one within a day, got it installed, and I love the skirted part because it's so easy to clean. I'm gonna go ahead, not that I think you're gonna buy anything, I'm gonna link that toilet so you can read about it, and I'll also link my uh, freezer. I don't know if they're both still available, but I just was so pleased with both of them. And the next item is something that I, it's not expensive. More people clicked on this link and bought these than anything else that I'd ever done before. I think 75 people purchased it and it was and it was like 800 and some dollars worth of these and I made $12. So you don't make a whole lot of money on Amazon, but I'm happy for everything. But what I really wanted to do is share this because Melissa55 shared it with me and I love them. They're the streak-free microfiber cloths. I've got my dirty one in here so I can show it to you. These are machine washable, uh, no, no uh, downy or anything like that. They work fantastic. My storm door is one piece of glass, and no, I used to try and try and try to get it to look streak free. I can clean going down on one, the front side, going across on the other. It shows these little tiny bubbles, but they're gone. I don't know what magic is in these, but I've never seen anything like it. I also use them to clean my stainless steel going one way. I've never had any problem in cleaning mirrors. I know how to do that. I've used everything. Coffee filters are wonderful. My mother taught me newspapers and they all work. They didn't work on window glass. So I love them. And everybody that I know that bought them or that I've given them to thought the same thing. They really liked them. The other thing that I'm thrilled about is the Revitalash Volume Enhancing Foam. I've used this probably maybe around a year, not quite a year, but what I used to do, two pumps here and here, right down the middle, right there and there. And then I went down to one pump, and I used one pump every day. On October 2nd, I, I started not using it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And there's like 288 pumps in here, and if I use it five days a week, just one pump, and it's foam and it spreads really easily, that it will last well over a year. It is crazy expensive. It's $149. At one time, for a little while, I had a discount code, but I will find places that sell it. And if you check these websites, they may be having a sale. I bought a backup already and I got it for 30% off. So. I was fine, I mean, I was really happy with that, but I, I know I plan on using it. The Vegamore, I started using one drop right in here. I know exactly where I put it, right there, on October the 8th, and I still have a lot left. 
and so far I haven't seen anything, but usually it takes two to three months. It's been two months, so um, I'll, I'll keep using it and see. But I haven't noticed any that my hair is growing faster. What I am noticing is my hair isn't as thin. And if you had more than just one or two areas, unless you were like super wealthy, I wouldn't even give it a try. And another thing I really like about it, I use it every single morning, except the, the Revital Ash on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't. And it, my hair does not look greasy, does not look sticky, it just is fine. And I don't wanna have to wash my hair more than I do. I've always liked the clear gamage things that you put on your face and you rub and little myrtles come off of your face. And then I loved the Dermatology, the AHA in the red, but that started burning my face. So I had to quit using that. I needed more, I just felt like I needed more than just that gamage once a month, because that's what I used the, the ordinary, the red stuff. I used that once a month. This is the third pumpkin enzyme mask I've tried from different companies. This is called Renew. It exfoliates and it hydrates and it does just that. There's little tiny particles of something in there that doesn't bother me at all, but it makes my skin look like it did after I used the AHA BHA. It worked wonderfully until it didn't. So this winter, I may have to bump this up to twice. This may be the winter I start getting a little dry skin. I'm thinking I might, but we'll see. But I really, really like it. I always have a 20% off discount code. The company comes out with sales. I think I bought mine for 30% off. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I'll, I'll, I'll put that information below. I am loving, absolutely loving my BK Beauty brushes from Lisa J. Here's, I didn't show you both sizes. Last week I did a, uh, my bougie, my expensive things that I love. This is the 109 and this is the 101. This is the only brush that I've ever, you can watch all my get ready with me's. I have not liked a brush with the exception of, I did like one brush. I liked the brush that went on the Clarisonic, but I don't like brushes to put on liquid makeup, except for this. I do like it to put on powder. I didn't use it today, but I, I just used a fluffy brush, but I love her brushes. I love the weight. I love the way they're made. Here's a smaller one like that, the 109. In the travel set, there's a small version of this, a shorter version. Here is a brush I love from Angie Hot and Flashy. It goes right in here, and when I put my powder on today, I used it, love it. And here's my 102 brush. I mean, best brush, best for me, best, and this is just my opinion, but I've been bowled over by her brushes. Last week, I talked about some new brushes that she made. I think it's a set of nine, and those you can't buy individually. And at first, when Angie Hot and Flashy did her set, you couldn't buy this individually, but you can. So eventually, I think you can buy everything individually. But anyway, had to make my top 10 favorites. Okay, in makeup, I'm calling this one <laughs> because this is the makeup that I have that I really love this year. One of the first things that I loved is the Milani, and I'll, and I'll show you the box. It's the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And here's what it looks like. It's in Femme Fatale, and it is a navy right there. So pretty. You know, I always I always wear navy by my eyes. And, and it stays. It's the first one beside... Okay. I've been used the It Cosmetics uh, No Tug Eyeliner, oh my gosh, for five or six years. I found that on my own. I loved it. Then they quit making it. Then they reformulated it, and it was horrible. In the meantime, Mary Glitzy Fritzy told me about one from, I'll put the brand up here, I can't remember. But what I want, I want something that goes in the upper water line, that stays, that doesn't transfer. I like to get it up close to my lashes and a little bit on the, well, it's the water line underneath your lashes. And it's really hard to find. Well, they quit making those. Then I ordered one from Gwen Stefani's line. Well, they're all expensive. I mean, I don't care because I don't use them that much, but I wanted to find a cruelty-free, of course, everything I use is cruelty-free drugstore. And the Milani 
I found it and it is wonderful. It stays just, I've got it on today. It stays right where it's put. And it is called the Stay Put Eyeliner and it does. Something else that blew me away came from Tarte. I ordered one, loved it, ordered two more, and I could only locate two right now. It's their Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. And I will, I'll put a little thing in here maybe, but you just click it up once and that's what it looks like. It is beautiful. It makes your lips feel so good. In fact, even with this red on right now, I'm gonna put this a little bit on. And my last beauty item came from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is their brow freeze. And I know they make tons of different brow freezes. They have dupes of this. When I'm done with this, I might dupe it. I may try to dupe it. But I've had this over a year and I still have that much left. What I do, and I'll, I'll put a, I'll try to put a thing in. I just dip, I just bent the end of this brush. I dip it in just once. And I put it right there and right there. And then I work this in and work that in. I make sure I close it tight when I'm done. But it just has worked wonderfully well for me. It's my favorite. I know in the past I've mentioned Ancestry.com as a favorite. I'm pretty sure I did. This year, I mean, they just keep adding new things that make it absolutely wonderful. Of course, I have my DNA on there. And now it's doing through lines. And you can find people that you are related to through, uh, through your DNA, and that's very interesting. And they also had something that's like $20, and it was all your characteristics based upon your DNA. And I tell you what, they were 80% right. There were probably 20-some. Recently, the, and as they find new ones to do that they can do, you'll get an email, and I got one. And it was like, are you a night owl or an early bird? And I thought, well, we'll see because there's, I'm definitely not a night owl. I am an early bird. And by George, it's, it was most probable that I was an early bird. But I just really enjoy it. It's a great hobby. I wish I had more time to do it. I really do because it is so enjoyable and relaxing. And the other thing, it makes you think. Like right now, there's like a great, great, grandfather that I can't find, but then it's telling me that I'm related to somebody else. So, you know what, there could have been some messing around in there somewhere, who knows? A lot of times I'll make notes. It's something that really is good for our brains. Anytime we do something that we really have to think, it's like exercises for our brain. I had one more item that I have just truly enjoyed and I ordered it from Amazon. And I'll try to put something close up so you can see it. It's a 10 karat gold chain. I had this pendant for like 50 years and I didn't, I had broken my last white gold chain. It's 10 karat. 10 karat is not as soft, which is good, but this is very fluid. It never hangs on anything. If you have a sweater on, it doesn't hang. I'll put some, in, I'll put something in here showing me demonstrating it. But when you have it on, you can just look for the little heart and hold it and hold the little ball and you can make it tighter. You can make it a choker. You can make it 22 inches, but I've really enjoyed this. So those are the things that really made my year this year, besides you all watching me. It, that uh, I always feel very special when you watch because there's a lot of people you can watch that you take time to watch me. People are talking about not getting notifications. I have all my notifications turned off from channels that I watch because number one, sometimes I didn't get them. Number two, my email would be full of notifications. So I just know when people usually upload, I am subscribed to them so it shows up on my page. So in two weeks, it's gonna be Christmas. I'm not gonna be uploading a video uh, on Christmas day, and I'm not sure when I will in January, but I will. We have a lot of different things to take care of. It has been wonderful that Jim is out and about and just doing great. We do look forward to doing some traveling and, and man, it, I mean, I'm gonna say it right now, it is all good. I mean, with God in our lives and our health, it is all good. For all those who believe, I wanna wish you a very, very blessed Christmas and a happy new year. And I want to wish everybody the very, very best. And I hope you have a great holiday season, whatever you practice. I will see you in my next video and take care. And Southern Illinois. I still film, film, 
only to something that my slacker ways loves with these. But I really love it. The pie shaped, uh, the pie shaped. Well, I wanted to get, well, I, well, I've got one more.